Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us. We start this half hour at the ABC7 Alert Center following breaking news. Police dispatch confirming with ABC7 that there was an overnight assault at the Jaguars nightclub here in East El Paso. It happened just after 3 a.m. That's where we find ABC7's Good Morning El Paso's Madeline Audley, who's live from the scene right now. And Madeline, what have you learned so far? Mauricio, I just spoke with someone who says that he was inside the Jaguars club last night. He tells me he did not see the assault take place, but he says when he walked outside, he saw a gun on the ground. Police could not confirm with us that a shooting had taken place. All they have confirmed so far is that this was an assault. I do want to step out of the frame, though, so that you can take a live look at this investigation going on right now. The sun's coming up, and we're starting to get a closer look. You're watching officers gathered together at the far end of that parking lot. They have blocked off this entire lot with this crime scene tape here. We've noticed them walk around this building, specifically on this side closer to us as they take pictures. I did speak with a police dispatch worker just minutes ago who told me that six or seven people might have been involved in this incident. Fire dispatch workers tell us that two people were taken to the hospital, one of them with serious injuries. At this time, they've not been able to tell us any more information about who those people might be, and police have not been able to tell us if anyone has been arrested or even really what led up to this in the first place. Of course, a lot of questions remain this morning, questions that we continue to ask, and we'll bring you the latest both live on air and online at KBIA.com. Reporting live on the east side, Madeline Otterley, good morning, El Paso.